Hey, James here from Abatros Digital Golf. If you've tried setting up Facebook adverts for your golf course and are a little confused by it all, don't worry. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to correctly set up Facebook adverts and drive traffic for new local golfers to your website and to your landing page. In this video, we're going to be using Facebook's basic tool for creating ads, Ads Manager. However, if you want to get really expert at this, you should try and move on to using their more advanced tool, Power Editor, which gives you a lot more options like creating multiple ads at once and having precise control of your campaigns. For this video, however, we'll stick to the easier option, Ads Manager. So here is a dummy golf course Facebook page, Albatross Golf Club, that I've set up to show you how to create an advert for your golf club. First things first, let's make sure you have a payment method set up. Head over to your newsfeed by clicking on the Facebook logo in the top left hand corner and then scroll down to the Ads Manager button. This platform is where all the magic happens. Now to add a new credit card or PayPal account to pay for your ads, click on the burger menu in the top left hand corner and select Billing and Payment Methods. Click the green Add Payment Method button and then either add a debit or a credit card or a PayPal account. Now let's head back to Adverts Manager and set up our first ad. Scroll over to the green Create Advert button in the top right hand corner of the page and click. First things first, it's important to understand that there are three levels to a Facebook ad campaign structure. Campaign level, advert set level and advert level. A campaign contains one or more advert sets and adverts. You'll choose one advertising objective for each of your campaigns. Advert sets contain one or more adverts. You'll define your targeting, budget, schedule, bidding and placement at the advert set level. And the advert is where you'll actually create the adverts that the local golfer will see on their newsfeed. It can be a bit confusing to begin with and it took me a while to get my head around it. But with practice you'll soon get the hang of it. You'll now get to choose from a number of different advert objectives. In another video I will go through all the different types of adverts and their specific uses. However for this video we're just going to choose the objective send people to your website. And the purpose of which, you guessed it, is to send people to your website. Now let's choose a campaign name. It's useful to come up with a naming format that you can stick to when naming ads so you can easily find the campaign you're searching for at a later date. I tend to go with the following format, date, objective, item promoted. For this ad, let's go with the 29th of the 8th, 16, as in today's date. Website clicks, book around, then click continue. In the advert set level, you will be able to determine the audiences you want to target. For this lesson, we'll ignore custom audiences, as we'll go into this in more depth in our retargeting lesson in another video. First up, we need to choose our location. This is where you set the radius of the audience of golfers you are going to serve your ads to. I tend to stick with the option, everyone in this location, as I'm trying to reach as many people as possible. However, you can choose people who live in this location instead if you wish. Click on Add Locations and then type in your address using the postcode or the nearest town to you. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose N11 for the dummy golf course location. Now find your golf course on the map and then click Drop Pin and then drop the pin on your course. Next, delete the original address you added and then choose the radius in kilometres from your golf course you wish to serve ads to. You can do this by clicking on the 16km button and then adjusting as you see fit. With age and gender, I tend not to really change anything to the default settings, as like before, I want as many people as possible in the audience to see the ad and get people talking about your course. The detailed targeting bit is the part in building ads that I find the most interesting and fun. This is where you can select the interests of the people you are serving ads to. When you click browse in the detailed targeting section of audience creation, you'll see demographics, interests and behaviours listed as options. You can browse for specific ad targeting options in each category by clicking on the arrow to the left of the category. However, I use the search function by typing a keyword in the search box. Once you've added a few keywords like Lee Westwood or Ian Poulter, Facebook will start to automatically suggest other golfers for you to choose from. When someone likes a Facebook page, it tells Facebook what that person is interested in. An avid golfer is very likely to like pages of brands like PGA Tour, Ryder Cup, etc. And golfers like Lee Westwood and Ian Poulter. 
If you really want to learn more about Facebook audience targeting, then there's a very insightful blog post by Molly Pittman of Digital Marketer, and she actually uses golf as one of her targeting examples. In it, she explains that although Tiger Woods is a golfer, he's also an international celebrity, and he attracts people who are non-golfers and would also be non-buyers. However, someone like Bubba Watson is much more of a niche golfer, and the vast majority of Facebook users that like Bubba Watson's page are going to be avid golf fans, that are interested in hearing from you. This is how specific you need to think in your audience targeting to really get to the core audience and get to the people who will actually buy. If you want to understand more about audience targeting, then click on the link to Molly's in-depth article in the Digital Marketer blog in the description box underneath this video, as it's well worth a read. I'll also add a list of the golf interests I target when running my ads for golf courses. I don't really add any connections when creating ads, however saving the audience is useful as it will save you time when you create ads in the future as you can reuse the interests without having to re-enter them all again. Next up is placements. Ad placements are places where your ads can appear on Facebook. The placements for ads are desktop newsfeed, mobile newsfeed, right column on desktop, Instagram and audience network. Another tip for you. When I'm running ads, I only tend to use feeds on the Facebook platform as they convert at the best cost per acquisition for the ads I run. To do this, click Edit Placements and then uncheck all the boxes except for feeds. Now we're nearly done with the advert set level and just need to add a budget and schedule. I like to use a daily budget of around £10 or dollars per day and then let the ads run to see how they perform. However, when I was starting out with Facebook ads, I would go with a lower figure of around two to three pounds per day until I was a bit more comfortable with running ads. You can also schedule a start and end date to your ads so you don't go over your budget, but when you're running ads, I'd suggest you check them daily to make sure they're performing properly anyway. I never really click on the advanced options because the way Facebook automatically sets the ads up works just fine for me, and so there's never really any need to change any of these settings. Lastly, you need to name your advert set. I use a simple format, golf interests, 10 pounds, 16 kilometers, and then click continue. Now we're into the final stage of creating a Facebook advert, where you'll set up your advert creative that the audience will see on their news feeds. When you get to this level, you'll see two options, create a new advert, use existing post. First step, we'll go through use existing post. Click on the Use Existing Post link at the top of the page, connect your business page, and then select a page post. Here you will find all of your recent posts to your page and can choose the one you want for your advert. This is the easiest way to create an ad and a great way of increasing the engagement of the posts on your page, getting more likes, comments, and ultimately click-throughs to your website. Now click on Mobile and you'll be able to see how the advert looks on a mobile phone. Creating a new advert allows you to create an advert from scratch and choose different text and imagery which you can tweak. Before we create our first campaign, it's crucial to better understand the different types of Facebook ads. Over the years, Facebook has changed the different types of ads it offers, giving users more options to serve the right ad for your business. First up is the carousel advert. If you're a Facebook user, You'll probably come across these types of ads on your newsfeed as they're extremely popular with advertisers and allow you to use multiple images and text. Next up is single image. When I'm running the majority of my campaigns for courses, I tend to use these types of ads as I find they convert the best. However, it's always best for you to test different types of ads for yourself to see which ones work the best for you. The secret to Facebook advertising is to test, test, and then do some more testing until you come up with the perfect converting ad that generates you a profit. You can also create ads using your videos, which we've had lots of success with as Facebook video is such a powerful format these days, as well as slideshows, creating a looping video advert with up to seven images of your golf course. For this video though, I'm going to go with a single image ad. You can upload images in the same usual way that you'd upload images to any website these days. Click on the plus icon, select the image you want to upload, and then click open. Try to make sure you use a high resolution image and pick the best photo of your course to make the best first impression. Facebook is such a visual platform, and the more captivating the imagery, 
the more chance you have of grabbing the user's attention. Next up, you need to add the URL of the website you want to drive traffic to. It's always best to drive traffic to a landing page that is related to the advert you are serving the user so as not to confuse them when they click on your link. Now we need to add a brief headline to tell people what your advert is about and try to use copy that will entice the user to click through and keep it short and on point. For this ad, we'll use the text Winner of London Golf Course of the Year 2016. In the text section, you will add what I call your headline. This is essentially the same as writing a status update on your Facebook page and it's how you will grab a Facebook user's attention. I've found throughout the years that the shorter and on point you keep your headlines, the better they perform. We'll use the text, Hey golfers, here's a secret on how to grab around on one of the finest golf courses in London for just £20. The call to action is the button you'll see on the right hand side of the advert. There are multiple options, however I tend to go with either book now or learn more, depending on the type of ad I'm running. We now need to add the newsfeed description text. This is the smaller subtext you'll see under the status update text in the advert. I like to remind users with another call to action, i.e. click book now to book your round. And that's it. You've created your first Facebook advert, and now you can sit back and reach out to the local golfers in your area.